tail of the tape for our main event, Mohammed. Three years older, Leon Edwards with a sizable advantage in height, three inches taller than the fighter out of Chicago. With that, he also has a two inch reach advantage, and we are just about set to get underway. One final time, here's Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live inside the UFC Apex here in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the main event of the evening. Five rounds scheduled this in the UFC welterweight division. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the executive director in attendance, Bob Bennett. Your three judges scoring at Octagon side, Mike Bell, Sal D'Amato, and Junichiro Kamijo. And when the action begins inside the Octagon, your referee in charge, Herb Dane. And now, fight fans, the judges are ready. The fighters are ready. Fight fans watching live, let the world know you are ready! Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighing it officially 170 pounds in 21 professional fights. His record stands at 18 victories with three defeats. He fights out of Chicago, Illinois. Here is Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, two inches tall. He weighed it officially 170 and one half pounds and holds a professional record equal to his opponent, 18 victories with three defeats, presenting the UFC's number three rated welterweight contender of the world from Birmingham, England. Here is Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves and let's do it. No touch. Mm -mm. And no eye contact from Bilal Muhammad. When did the bad blood start? I mean, like, come on, these guys don't like each other that much. They can't touch gloves, Mike? At the weigh-ins. I mean, wow. That intensified quickly before. It was all respect. Yeah, but listen, you're going to fight. Behind That's all black. well and good. Thank you, Bilal, for taking the fight. <laughs> now I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> fight. We are underway. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by the U.S. Army. Edwards in the red, minus 270 as a sizable favorite. Bilal Muhammad in the green, plus 220 as the underdog. See, this is interesting already. Sure, we're only 10 seconds in. But Bilal is normally the one that going, pressures yep, forward. always going forward. I yeah. was wondering about whether or not if he was going to try to get the timing of Edwards before he starts trying to press. Stop. Now, he will. Eventually, he will try to go forward, but... To now this they point, Leon's putting him right on his heels. One thing we have to note is the straight shots of Leon versus the hooks that Bilal throws. One thing that might confuse Leon a little bit, though, is Bilal, he faints. He faints like he's going to shoot for a takedown. Then yep. when he comes down, he comes to the body. Or he comes over the top with the right hook. And there's always two, three, four, even five Ooh. punches come after them. Bilal typically is a very, very busy fighter. Mohammed, as you guys say, usually likes to use the pace to his oh. advantage. Nice one-two from Edwards. He uses his cardio as a weapon, but right there, he just got hit with a big one-two by Leon pace. Edwards. What a journey back to the octagon for Leon Edwards. Beautiful knee, like look at the position by Edwards. Right away, jammed the knee right in the middle. Try to break the posture of Bilal Muhammad. Bilal does a great job of spinning him, throws an elbow over the top. Really nice elbow on the break, though, for Bilal. Skimmed the skull of Edwards there. And that was surprising. That, that was interesting for Leon to do that, to mix things up and say, hey, guess what? Takedowns go both ways. Of course, wasn't successful, though, but he keeps Bilal guessing with that. Leon has found some success with some counter-striking through the early going. Of note for Bilal Muhammad, his head coach and mentor from when he was a high school wrestler, Lewis Taylor, who ultimately got him into fighting, is not in his corner tonight. Unable to do so. He's been in Las Vegas. Oh! Head kick wow. from Edwards on oh, wobbly legs. He's and now he's going in. Oh my goodness. Bilal big left hook. He's blocking though. He defended those shots, but that head kick wobbled him big. That was a nasty head kick by Leon Edwards. No wind up. 
I don't think Muhammad's legs are all there quite yet. Not yet, but he's got to be careful not to take anything clean, right? Is if he starts to take anything clean after getting rocked like that, it's over. Yeah, interesting strategy again to go for the takedown when he was so hurt because this is this is really good for Bilal. Gives him a chance to get his faculty back, you know, to to you know just blow off this, the cobwebs from that shot because he was hurt. He was. Oh, well, he, I was just one of those situations, damage. Mike, where it was like earlier we talked about Courtney Casey kind of going into range because she was overextending on her strikes. Leon did that. It wasn't necessarily a takedown attempt, but he was trying to charge into him so fast that he ended up closer than he needed to be, and now finds himself stuck with Bilal Muhammad. And there's a cut on the right side of the head of Bilal Muhammad that you see there. Yeah. That'll be the shin bone. Under two minutes to go, round one. That's what Bilal needs to do. He needs more forward pressure. Of course, easier said than done against someone like Leon. But backing up like this, you know, he's going to have problems. Bilal said this week, he said, when you put Leon on your back, on his back foot, he folds. He doesn't do too well. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but it's certainly better than letting Leon do the advancing. Leon is constantly switching stances, stop, man. Stop. Eye poke here in time called by Herb Dean immediately. Come here, come here, come here. Watch your fingers, okay? Keep doing it. This is fine, but keep them off his face. Let's fight. Back underway. That's what Bilal has to do. He has to be going forward, but he's got to move his head. Be careful as he enters. Abed trying to jab his way back to center. Quick one two from Rocky. We're seeing a difference in power as well. When Leon connects, it's doing significant damage. Yep. When Bilal connects with respect, Leon's taking them a lot better. I mean, Edwards is just so relaxed in there. He's not loading up. Everything comes from where it needs to be. And he lands, and he's so quick. He sees everything. Yeah, he, he, he fights with zero emotion. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's a job in there. Heavy exchange, high impact on each side as the final seconds of round one tick away. <laughs> we'll keep it here on ESPN Plus in between rounds. Here's that head kick. Boom, shin oh, wow. on shin. That connected big and Bilal did a good job to stay on his feet there because that would have put a lot of people down. Stiff one, two for Leon. Connected with the left hand there very, very nicely. 30 second good break back action. with round two after this. That's where all those kicks are coming right, Everything's good. in the A zone. We got to get make it, make it heavy on his back leg, Bilal. We got to sprint more. We got to move your shoulders in front of him, all right? We got it. What are we going to do? Sprint. Let's go, Bilal. We're here. You took his best shots. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Back and ready for round two, Bilal Muhammad. Take some power shots in the first round. Still going. Muhammad was excited to have 25 minutes, test himself. Prove that he belongs in these big spots against the sport's best. Oh, oh another pull. Oh, it was a poke uh, in the eye. Yeah. It wasn't a low blow as he landed the body kick. Hey. Over there. Over there. Okay, so see, over there. You're going to see the replay huh? because last time. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my God. This looks like a bad one. Fuck. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. <laughs> ah. Oh, my oh, goodness. Dear. No. Oh, man. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I got a okay. bad feeling. Okay, relax. This does not what I need you to do good. is I need you to relax. Relax. We'll breathe breath. and relax. Let and breath. let the doctor take a look, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just breathe in there. 
Okay, calm down for a second. Let's okay. take a look. Relax and breathe. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Bala, Bala, relax and breathe. He's okay. need, the doctor needs to take a look at it. <laughs> can, you, can you open your eyes as best you can? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you seeing double? I can't see anything. Can't see anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Hold on, wait. Hmm? Oh, good. Huh? Stop, stop. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Stop, stop, stop. Herb Dean hey, so officially just for now. Just waves for now. it off. Him just for now, over there. He waved his arms over his head. I saw oh, that right, right? Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. And the doctors will come in, so. Oh, it's all right underneath, too. Oh, come on. I mean, I mean you, listen, th- there's no faking that. You can see no, the pain the and pain the agony. And agony, yes. Listen, let me tell you, you know, I mean, eyes, come the, the, on. the pain is like nothing else. This is the most unfortunate <sighs> thing for two guys. Oh, my goodness. It was a poke. It was definitely a poke. And it was an unintentional Unintentional, poke, unintentional. But worst case scenario for a guy in Bilal Muhammad who's in this spot that he's been looking for for so many years, and for Leon Edwards. Been away for so long, and then this happens. So what happens? Well, Herb Dean, if he, if he deems it accidental, which it certainly appeared to, to be, yeah. no contest. then it will be a no contest. He was warned, of course, in the first round. Mm, yeah. Albeit briefly, and that one didn't really appear to bother Muhammad in the first round. But well, Herb I mean, just told him, you got to watch your weapons. You know, so I don't know. That's the only thing that troubles me for Leon. Yeah. You know, because he was warned. Right. He was I don't warned. know, maybe oh, it was the, last, the, the round before he was told. Do you want to be a part of this? Do you want to come? Hold on, just leave me alone for a second, man. That eye is It's okay. Tell them to relax. Do you want to... Um, do you want to come to the, to the center? Sure. Okay. Come on. To the center. Come on. Sorry, but I'll go back. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry go back. Mm-hmm. Ready? Come here. Oh, no decision or no contest? I'd like no contest. Okay. okay. No problem. Well, you just heard it there from Herb Dean, but we'll let Joe Martinez make it official in just a moment. I mean, that eye is immediately swollen. That's yeah. one of the worst cases I've ever seen, to it's be It's all fair. red. Gosh, you hate to see this for yeah. both of these gentlemen. And now for our official decision brought to you by Godzilla versus Kong in theaters and on HBO Max March 31st, rated PG-13. Here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially 18 seconds of round number two due to an accidental eye poke to Muhammad. He cannot continue. Therefore, this main event has been declared a no decision. So a no contest. It's not what we all wanted. I mean, that is, I mean, to say that's a shame is, is beyond.